all our civilization. The heart is the covenant. That's the heart. The heart is the covenant between God and man with all the information and knowledge for this planet Earth and our civilization. You can't build a structure without that information. And the sovereign seal, that's the sovereign seal. I'll show you the sovereign seal later on. That's the, the book of Psalms is the Psalter, and that's the Psalter, the instrument that accompanies the Psalms. It has the two images from wrong to right, even to good man's intellect and reason. And if I, you know, you can see it on that. And I put that up to the, up to the light. You mm -hmm. see the harp is the other side. Mm -hmm. That's the sovereign trinity. That's over the four courts and it's not properly aligned. And um, that is what is, that's what we do. That's a Celtic Christianity, when we refer to it as Celtic, where every child is born sovereign. And in the Roman Catholic Church that pre precedes the Roman Catholic Church, every child is born of original sin. And if you do all what you're told to do from the cradle to the grave, you get to heaven. But they, the old Celtic people had a different concept. The first four strings is earth, air, fire, and water, man's intellect and reason, and his five senses. And that's the first string of the harp. And that is how it's the Ogham, or Om alphabet. It's the first structured language of mankind. The second is hieroglyphics. And if you look at two, that's the sovereign sea, and that's the harp. And that's the sun, the moon, and the planet Earth. And if you want to look at it on that, that is the old stick. If you go to Lock or any of those serpents that you see around the country, you put down your stick, you take the first string of the, from the harp, and you make your circle. And once you're in that circle, you, 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 and that makes the circle. So you stand in that, and you put that down. And if you look at that down, look at this light and shade on the floor. That's the sun dial, the compass and the wheel that's put it up here. Can you see it there on the shadow, yeah. Yeah, On that. Well that's the Moses and and Abraham state. And that represents the sun, and that represents the moon. And the sun grows all our food, our bio and biomass. And there are the sun and the moon beams. And the moon controls all the sites of life and all the things. And that is what they are teaching you and, and your children. You are the sovereign. And that, I keep repeating that word because that's very important. That's the actual. And if you look at it, that's the sunship. It has several meanings. So you take the sun coming up in the east, rising up, coming up, 12 noon, going across the arc of the sky, and going down to the west. So you have the compass, because you know that's the east with the sun rising. You know that's 12 noon, going down, so you know that's the west. So you know that north is behind you. So you have the compass. And if I put that down there, you see the light and shade. That is the sundial. So you have the sundial. That's everything our civilization has achieved to date comes from the harm. And if you take the first four, you see that how man um, weaves his cloud. These are the strings again, and you see the you the treads crossing each other. And how man learned to write, how man learned to count the abacus. That's how the wheel was. That's the feathers of the wheel. That's the eye, which is the hub, and the eye. How you construct the wheel. So they're the feathers, they're the spokes. And that's the eye, so man can travel the world. You look at that upside down, there's the crescent moon. Everything you want to know, geography, no map can be built. And I can show you, it's all about your being. That's Tutankhamun's sovereign seal, and that's the harp sign. And you can do that, everybody can do that. That's the sun box and the sound box for the winter and summer solstice. We only had a six months calendar of Celtic people. But in order for the Catholic Church to do this, for Easter Sunday is the most important day in the Catholic Church. But they didn't have a 12 months calendar. But the Egyptian had a 12 months calendar. That's the winter and summer solstice. And this new grave is the sun box and the sound box. And the sun runs across the floor on that day as you see it in, in New Grange. And that's everything grows then. That's the arc of the sun, the moon, and the planet Earth. And on the 21st of January, 
that's at its highest. And everything grows as high as that. And then in the winter solstice on the 21st of December, everything goes back down to the ground again to planet Earth. So the Catholic Church had to have, and if you go to Ptolemy, Copernicus and Galileo, they were the ones who had the, the Clarence calendar. And that's what's so important. Without that, you cannot determine Easter Sunday. And anybody who goes to Rome to Termini, or you see in the old churches, I said the eye, that's the eye. And you'll see the sun will strike that eye, the same as New Grange, and run across the floor. And Easter fun, Sunday is the first in, in Terminini in Rome. Easter Sunday is determined uh, the first Sunday after the full moon for the whole world. That's how important that is. And that's all about mathematics, science, and astrology. And right, that's the blueprint for the Curragh. We call it the sunship in that sense, was going there for, for the. And when you turn it, <coughs> every way you turn that, it has a meaning. And that's the sunship. And that's the moon ship. Turn it upside down, crescent moon, how Tutankhamun built the, the pyramids of Egypt. You divide the string, that's the first string of the harp. And that's earth, air, fire, and water. They're the first four strings. Every child in the world has the same intellect, and every child in the world inherits those, and that's your sovereignty. And, and that's what it's about. <coughs> I keep on showing people how to do it. On the, that would be strings across there. How you make a map. And the map is, if you see how the old, I said that's the Tutankhamun, sovereign seed, that's the sovereign seed, and that's the half sign. When you put them together like that, and you cut out the paper, that's how every map is a circle. And you notice, look, that's the sun, the moon, and the planet Earth. But no, that's the paper that covered that with all the information. And where those strings meet, you have latitude and longitude. And I mentioned Copernicus, uh, Ptolemy, and, and, and Galileo. And what they did was, they treaded the eye, that's the eye of the harp. And they followed the sun, coming up, at 12 noon, going across the arc of the sky. They didn't know where the sun went to at night time. They didn't know the world was circular and globular. They thought it was circular and flat. But by doing that, their intellect told them that the, oh, it was circular and globular. And when they turned the latitude and longitude, where the strings actually meet, that's how you have maps. You look at the maps and you see how, they're, 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 how our intellects have created those. Every child, every one of you can do that. And that shouldn't be lost. A couple of generations and all that information can go. And all those circles, when you go into those circles, I brought up girl. Just to show you, that's the Ranakran Dove Stone, which is the largest stone in Lockhart, and that's the, that's the, that, if you look at that and take a photo, that's not a very good photo, you will see the first structure, the first string, the first structured language of mankind, you will see the Om, and some people got Ogum, but we prefer Om because this is the Bultas and Fathers. And that's what's so important on it. And that is, the, um, that's the harp stone. Now Cromwell, he camped on that site, but it, well, probably not himself, but his general art, and, and they destroyed that stone, but there's two stories about it. It's the only round stone in Loch Gore, and Loch Gore is old range, it's much older than new range. And that stone, they say, the people say, was taken and put in the lake, and was saved. Others say, no, they put a stone, they, Put that down further, and Cromwell's men broke that stone. And I said about the psaltery, the Book of Psalms is the psaltery, and that's Anna Domine. If you take the coin, and you've got a coin, uh, if you've got a coin in your pocket, it's Anna Domine 2015, the two images from wrong to right, evil to good, and it's intellect and reason. Anyway, if you see that. That's the sovereign seed with 14 strings that earn us by to earn the money. You put that up to the mirror and you see the harp of the soul tree. And that's the difference between the sovereign seed and the harp. Uh, every child should know that. You can turn that every way I told you. The, you know, the present moon, which is a, it's a full moon at the moment. All the information is on that. It's your sundial, it's your compass, it's your wheel. All our civilization. Thanks very much.
book was. It's a very simple, uh, but our, all our intellects can understand that. No matter what child is born or where he is, he can understand because it's part of your being. And that's what that is about. That is the Brian Brew Harp. And you can see we spoke about Cromwell. Cromwell was the first Republican. And um, what a Republican is, a sovereign Republican is, that you are the sovereign. Uh, and, and the Queen of England, that's royalty. The Queen, the Queen that is not the sovereign. It is the harp, and she carries that on her coat of arms. And when the Queen leaves, we'll say Buckingham Palace and goes to Windsor Palace, she has to take that, and she does on all occasions. And the Union Jack is taken down, and, and the, the standard is flown, which she's in residence. And when she leaves residence, that's taken down, and the Union Jack is flown. Or if she goes to Windsor, um, the Union Jack has to be taken down when she enters Windsor. And it's the heart that is the, the sovereignty. And that's sovereignty. That is not royalty and sovereignty. Royalty is wearing a crown and saluting to your subjects. So you were the sovereign. But that is, you can see where Cromwell, do you see the good sun box and sun box? And that's where the alignment of the sun is the first telescope. And that's how Ptolemy and Copernicus and all that worked all this out mathematically. And every way you turn it. But that's up, that was in Limerick, of course, and it's had uh, connections with the River Shannon. It stood on that stone, the clock and clashing. That is what that's the only round stone in the circle. And when you see that V on those stones, you'll see you know it's the half sign. And they are all marked for you to understand. And when you go into some place like that, you follow the circle. You know, in daylight, you follow the sun, as I said, uh, around the you know the arc of the sky, so you go in that direction. But if you go at night, you go in the opposite direction. And you you, you understand what those people were teaching us. Um, um, well, we did maps, all maps, there's the string, the first string, we showed you how to, how to make that circle. That's what they were teaching in Loch Gore and in New Grange over 5,000 years. That's what the Celtic people were teaching. And they brought all that information to Bernica, which is, um, that's Loch Gore again. You see the, that stone for the Sovereign Trinity. And I think when you go into those places and you know that, it, you have much better appreciation of your know, place when you understand what it's about. And you can see there, where you'll see the, the summer solstice, the sun will run along that line on, on, on the 21st of June and on the 21st of December. So you can, you know, you know how that the winter, that everything is at its lowest. That's the arc of the sky. So that's its lowest, and when everything grows by the sun, it gets higher and higher and higher, and then it comes down, back down again. It's important to know that for growing, and that is, I showed you how you the harp signs. That's two for moon, and and there the the harp. But look, this is a simple string and a stick, and he built the pyramids of Egypt. He took it. He divided the screen in two, and that's the thumb line. And that fits between there and there, so you can build any structure in the world with that. And you can align it to the sun, the moon, and the stars. That's how those alignments, and that's why all those lines are so important. Uh -huh. And I think every child should know how to do that, because every child can understand that. Um, the GA, the light metal, John. The GA took off the sovereign seal and air off the medal in 2008. They didn't tell anybody. And they put on this awful thing. We can find it. Um, uh, simple circle. And they didn't tell anybody. That's the actual medal, the old Ireland medal, 1910. The GA is up as, as the Irish Republican Brotherhood Organization. My conclusion was only. Uh, he was fronting for the Irish Republican Brotherhood, and as you know, it was founded in Hayes of Terror. And I know how proud to the very people are. Simon Brown, the leading party in that medal, are Irish Republican Brotherhood. And that's what united the people. We are only the umbrella organization. We are not a political party. All we are, we united all the people to get our independence. And we hold the sovereignty 
and the, and the mandate of the Turkey Country election of 1918. My family bought homes at 29 Parliament Square in 1917. And in, I want people to start, and I want the Truth Commission to start in 1912 when Sir Edward Carson founded the Ulster Volunteers. And we said about sovereignty and we said about the covenant. Their covenant was 1912, and in 1913 they broke their own covenant, they took it to war. The Hebrew people took it to war, so you know what's happening. In 1155, Pope Abel the IV gave it to Henry II in the Empire. And it's up in the third of these, which is there. It caused the Hundred Years' War. Every time, and you saw in 2008, when the G8 dropped the medal, every time it's been, it's been interfered with, a disaster happens. Look what happened to the banks. Look what happened to industry. Look what happened to the country. Look around the country today. And, and, and by taking off and desecrating your sovereignty. And that's what they did. Didn't tell anybody, because that's the form of the serpent. But that's going to tell my family uh, in 1912. In 1913, the UVF became the UVF Army. And the Guinnesses gave 100,000 to buy the top class German guns. And Lord Rothschild gave 100,000. And Rudolf Hitler gave 50,000. All of the three most here was about 1,500 pounds. And there were only dreadful low antique guns. In, in 1913, the intelligence officers of the Irish Republican Brotherhood <coughs> reported that the Supreme Council of the Irish Republican Brotherhood what had happened. And they found it the, in the proclamation, you read it there, they found it. You could, everybody can read it. Having organized and trained her manual to receive the revolutionary organization, the Irish Republican Brotherhood and through her open military organization, the Irish Volunteers and Irish System, as a defense force. And this thing about Owen McNeil founding them that, again, only fronting for them. That's who founded them, as a defense force. The Irish Republican Brotherhood abhor war, they abhor violence, they abhor corruption, maladministration, malnourishment of our, our people, they abhor propaganda lies and deception. Sovereigns don't live like that, honestly and truthfully. You have a right to your land and your house. That's what they, those people gave their lives for. And, and it's very important to know where we're coming from and where we're going. And I think we were never going to go any place until we discovered that. Um, in 1913, then, the um, Irish Republican Brotherhood were looking for our, uh, volunteers to collect intelligence on the Crown forces. And Sam McGuire and my granduncle, Sam was uh, secretary of the Irish Republican Brotherhood, and my granduncle, they volunteered, they became known as the Circle and the Cell. And Sam was sent to the post office in London, and Tom was sent to Calcutta in India to collect all the intelligence. And that was brought every week by Sam to Vaughan's Hotel. We only had a room in Vaughan's Hotel for Mrs. Vaughan at that time. And in 19, uh, then you had 1915, 1916, the rising, as a defence force. We don't go to war with anybody. But uh, when they got all that money in 1914, the UVF army declared war on Britain and Ireland if home rule was imposed by, by Britain. And that's what really happened. And it, and the British government, they um, capitulated to the UVF army. And that is what happened. So the, the Crown forces colluded with the British Army. That's very important to know that point, because later on in 1922, uh, Collins and those, uh, the treaty, uh, when King George V imposed a British apartheid system for the 26 and 6 counties of Ireland as an orange free state and a provisional government. That's what we have today. And, in, uh, and that was immediate and terrible war. That immediate and terrible war refers to 1913 when the UVF changed from, they broke their own covenant and changed from UVF to the UVF army. And, and that's very important. It, uh, then on the, so in 1917, my family bought Vaughan's Hotel 
on behalf of the Irish Republican Brotherhood and Ogden and Ahern. Sinn Féin were the political wing and Ogden and Ahern, the Irish Volunteers, to, were, they were the military wing. As a defence force, and Common Amman, the Fianna, Inni and Ahern, and all of those organisations, that was their headquarters. And it was to unite the people to get a better way of living, to get education, own your house and your land. And that's what they did. So the 32 county election of 1918, we bought that and we donated a million pounds sterling for the setting up of the 32 county election of 1918 to set up Dáil Éireann and to set up the Sovereign Republic in Dáil Éireann courts and the War of Independence as a defence force. And a lot of people were here last Sunday at Salah Bay the other day, which was on the same day, 21st of January 1919. So in 1919, all the institutions of the state were up and working on Michael Collins. He was Minister for Finance, which is important. In 1952, under King George V, he was only provisional minister. So when you read the proclamation of tenure, they were only provisional government. So that was the Irish Republican brother, uh, uh, you know, they did it exactly in verbatim, setting up the state, as in the 1916 proclamation, and the sovereign constitution. There's the sovereign constitution. And uh, that's what look, and I'll just read that because it's so important. This is the sovereign constitution, the first constitution under the 32 county election of 1918. And as uh, Bones tell you, see on it. To the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, who the people of Ireland dedicate our constitution and beg guidance of the Holy Spirit, that it may, in consonance with thy divine will, and contribute to the great glory. Amen. This constitution shall be the constitution of the Republic of Ireland proclaimed in arms on Easter Monday, April the 24th, 1916, and established by the will of the people of Ireland on January the 21st, 1919. It was ratified on that day, under that. That's where we hold the mandate of the 32 county election of 1918 and the sovereignty and the legitimacy of the state. We hold all those symbols, the tricolour flag that flew over the GPO in 1916 that we put up, and taken down by David Lynch and kept in bonds for Taylor until it's ratified. Together with the Sovereign Constitution, the Easter Lily, which is green, white, and orange, and as you know, there's still a lily of mine. And that's the shamrock, the green and the gold. And, and uh, you see the old stick there, the sundial and the compass with the light and shade. And, um, and what I did last year in La Gora, but I can't do it tonight because the, the light is. Right, but you can on that big stone. I told you the rock and up. I, you know, with the light behind it, on uh, the natural light, you could see the harps. I projected the light. That is the first time that mankind, right? He probably put his hand up on the wall of these buildings. You see these cave buildings. But to project the light, that's your television, that's your mobile phone, that you can project all that images right everything you see today and that's where it comes from and you see when I cross those you look know, you have the grid and the graph everything is on that all the Celtic designs no matter what way you turn them you know how you build your ship the curve the curve we said the key to the ship for the Atlantic Ocean sunbox sunbox you know see all the Celtic designs and that string a piece of string when the strings cross that's how you Men, here in your clothes, that's how you do it. It's to know that information is what is important. Now we'll go back to that here. Uh, this constitution will be the constitution of the Republic of Ireland for David in Arms on Easter Monday, April 24, 1916, and established by the will of the people of Ireland on January the 21st, 1919. So that's the only sovereign constitution that we have. What happened in 1922? was imposed by King George V, and they said as the British apartheid system for the 26 and 6 counties of Ireland as an orange free state. Michael Collins, all those had to step down from the Irish Republican Brotherhood. Because, you, you, you know, Dáil Éireann never sat in Leinster House. Dáil Éireann never voted for the Anglo-Irish Treaty. Dáil Éireann never ratified the EEC Accession Treaty or the EU Accession Treaty. <coughs> Article 1, the sovereignty of the nation is inalienable. It can never be changed. It is therefore not within the competence of any generation of the people to surrender that sovereignty which each generation holds in trust for the nation.
the question of surrender, surrender of national independence may not be submitted to an electorate. Subject to that fundamental principle, it is hereby declared all authority in Ireland, legislative, executive, <coughs> and all powers of government are derived solely under God from the people of Ireland. These powers are inherent in the people alone by virtue of their sovereignty. They must be exercised in accordance with the principles of liberty, equality, and justice for all. Any legislation not in accordance with these principles is hereby declared null and void. And I think you know we've seen what's going on with water and everything else. And as you know, on the 21st of January, the Irish Republican brother claimed earth, air, fire, and water, the first four strings of the half. And we've been doing it for 96 years. That water is yours. And we just rush quickly run through the land. The land of Ireland belongs to the citizens of Ireland and to them alone. That's by the will of all the people of the 32 counties. And what they're doing today is they're enslaving your children. Um, that is a shop of Bones Hotel, which my family bought, and that is probably the last. Well, there were, that's Tom Barry and, and Devil Air sitting between them. That's my grand uncle there, which all my cave those. Well, we have a wonderful country, and we have, you know, but we only have a provisional government, and they keep selling out your assets all the time. They cannot use the sovereignty. And I got a letter.